Hello everyone and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now I have a little bit of a, a sad story to tell you. Um, when we last left off, uh, I I recorded a whole whole another lot of videos. Uh, I say another lot of videos. There was another two episodes. However, uh, I was very sick when recording these, and it turns out that I didn't actually save my recordings. So we've lost a little bit of progress in game. I know, I know, I'm a terrible, terrible YouTuber and person. Uh, I am very sorry about that. However, we are going to explain what we missed and what more we can do. But first, we do need to pop into the town and talk to the merchant before I go over what we missed. Uh, so we have to give him the trade license. And it basically says, hey, we'll open up an office in this barn. Sounds good to me. Put pallets here, take crates of goods from here every merchant day, and we'll sell them. Basically, anything we can sort of build and sell, we put here and we'll make a ton of money. We can improve our trumpet, which is our reputation. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. It makes more money, so we need to get three trumpets and seven sails made. Not too shabby, to be perfectly honest. Um, we are still poor. Um, I'm almost positive that we made a bunch of money and then lost it all immediately buying stuff. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Um, so, what we have missed, unfortunately, was me buying and selling a bunch of stuff and progressing a little bit of story. Not a lot. Of, um, I'm not exactly sure ex exactly how much I lost. Um, so, I can't be 100% certain of what I'm missing. Um, but I know one thing that we did go in and do, which... Yeah, unfortunately, I really would have loved to have shown it off, but we, we couldn't do that. So, what we did is we came down here, and we went to the town. Uh, unfortunately, now you can see we don't have a town pass, so we can't go to the town. Uh, I will, hopefully, do a dramatic representation right here of what happened there. But um, if I don't... Well, what happened is you go through here and then you get exploded by a bolt of lightning. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it just kills you straight up. It's like, nope. So you cannot actually go into the town. You have to stay in the village. Uh, God or whatever else is keeping you here. Uh, so unfortunately, that has to happen. We also went and bought our trade license, which we gave to Mr. Merchant. Um... So basically, we can start our business. Apologies, I am still very sick. Um, so there might be a few more jump cuts here and there. Where I'm just cutting out me coughing and spluttering and all sorts. Um, if I don't cut those out, good lord, I've done a terrible job. Uh, <laughs> basically. Oh, I say that and now I actually will do a terrible job not cutting them out and feel terrible about it. Um, but what we also did um, is we uncovered a mysterious artifact all the way over here, which we don't have on here yet. So we haven't progressed that far with this, which is great. So let's go over here and I will show you the mysterious artifact that we uncovered. Unless Dig is here. Is Dig here? Dig is here. So what we want to do is we want to talk to Dig very quickly. Because I just bought a bunch of honey. Give him five honey. And he'll teach us how to make stuff. Yeah, he teaches us how to make cake. And uh, that's, that's pretty much all it was for. We do need to talk to him later. But it was about this thing that we uncovered here. Um, basically, uh, Jerry, he gave us a mission to uncover some stuff. We uncovered it. And then the town guard came along and said, hey, no no building here unless you own this land, which uh, we don't have enough money to own this land. It was basically like 300 gold needed, um, which is an absurd amount of money. However, if we go to 
whatever, bartender man. If we go to bartender man, he will tell us how much money it's going to cost if we uh, want to open up a store or open up, or buy a bit of land, sorry, buy a bit of land, that's the word, under the name of someone else. And because, oh, lovely, we are an unscrupulous character, we're going to take up the name of Dig, the, the crazy man who just bought all our, or who we just gave all our honey to and he taught us how to make cakes. We're going to use his name. And, uh, oh, hello. Oh. He's going to add more tables. Oh, here we go. There you go, 9,000 gold. Uh, so he tells you to go buy it in the name of Dig. So I hadn't even unlocked that yet. That's that's pretty good. Uh, I think Dig will have gone to bed by now. If he has, we'll just move on. I know one of the main things we missed was going into town. The other main thing we missed is I was going through some dungeon work. Um, so you've missed like the first four levels of the dungeon, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm so sorry to say that. Yeah, Dig's gone to bed. Um, so if we go back to the home, let's see exactly how many floors you have missed of the dungeon. Uh, Snake will be here too. We've not progressed his storyline in any way, shape, and or form. Uh, we did build a few... Oh, we didn't even build here yet. So, we haven't got the bucket of blood, we haven't got the bloody nails, yada yada yada. So they're what we're looking for, and one of them is on floor 5. So we didn't do that much, to be perfectly honest. Um, we did a few bits here and there. It was mainly going to town that we missed out on. So, it's it's not the worst, but yeah, we missed some stuff, and I'm, I am sorry about that. It was not my intention, please forgive me. It's alright, you forgive me, I know you do. You can't stay mad at me, the lovable badger who goes sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes, and that's more than never. Steel ingot. Um, right, so. Speaking of going into the old, uh, what do you call it, dungeon, we might as well go ahead and do some of that. We can't really progress uh, anything. Oh, wait, I need... Yeah, might as well go and progress some of that. Let's see. Have we got any food in this chest here? I have an energy, a heal potion, and carrot cutlets. That's about it. That's that's all we really need, to be honest. Oh. Okay, we'll take a few pumpkins stew as well. We should probably sleep as we're here. We should sleep while we're here. So you missed a few dungeons, you missed me going into town and basically blowing up. Uh, which, you know, is unfortunate, but as I say, I apologise, very sick. Um, and whenever I close out of the game without actually closing the recording, doesn't doesn't save the recording. I know, it's it's bizarre, it's bonkers, it's, it's crazy. Um, but anyway, we're going to go down to floor three. Ooh, spooky music. And we're going to progress with things. So we have already killed a bunch of enemies from this area. Um, so you're not going to see too many enemies down here. Uh, because every time you leave the floor, it saves the progress you've done. Which is good, but also like... Ah, well, I was supposed to show off all of this anyway. But not a worry. So I believe I spoke in our last episode about that you saw about this. Um, you have to clear the floor of all enemies before it will let you progress further. Uh, let's see if this one is ready yet. Nope, see, needs to kill all enemies first. And I'm really hoping they're just here. They are, good. Oh, that was me. And uh, yeah, we're just basically going into some some shooty stabbies, not shooty, it's just some stabby stabbies. And clearing up everything. Uh, we are just gonna destroy the metal scrap. There's no need for the metal scrap. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Hopefully now it'll let us progress further down. Down, down, deeper and down. Hey. And we're back. Sorry about that. Here we are again. So we need to get to floor five to get something for Snake, which is the Bucket of Blood. We are introduced to a new enemy here who actually deals quite a bit of damage. Wow. And is evasive as heck, but they do drop the bloody nails that we need. Bloody nails. So they have their, their perks, they have their they have their uses, but they do do a lot of damage, hard do do. Um, <laughs> and they're they're a bit annoying to kill, but they're nothing they're nothing special. You just walk around them, take two slaps, and keep doing that. And that's that's basically how you get rid of them easily. Oh no, I don't know why I bothered doing that. <laughs> I'm just going to end up destroying them at some point. Uh, we'll use that later when we get a bit lower on health. First we'll go up. There we go. Easily done. Get murked, son. And I think now we'll use the health potion. Oh, we're back to full health, so... We probably could have waited a little longer, but eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. In before it becomes a huge deal. Look at that. Easy. Oh, no. I've been attacked. Tragic. Ah, get away from me, onion seed. Alright, fine. Ow. Ow. Okay, well, now we just got our ass absolutely handed to us. No, not the bloody nails. Uh, does any of this heal health? No. That's unfortunate. Ow. I mean, you can't die in this game, but it, you can just lose time. Come here, you. Give me that. Which is a shame. Don't want to lose time, but it'll happen. There you go. So I'm playing it a little bit more dangerous for some reason. Don't know why. It's a dumb idea. Just play safer and we can make it through this floor. Ow. Yeah, we're going to end up getting destroyed, aren't we? I'm too, I'm too like, I must run at things with my face until I die. Oh, one good thing that we can learn, though, is we can learn the next, uh, some more, oh yeah, we did learn some abilities and whatnot as well. We did some leveling up, which, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to miss out on that. Uh, you're going to miss out on what I actually leveled up. Okay, let's go down and... I'm pretty sure that this is a whole floor. Yeah, it's a whole floor. Oh, blue slimes. So we are going to leave. And we're going to go back to the home. And we're going to sleep and get all our health back. Because, oh my word, we nearly died. <laughs> so we're going to be here for quite some time. Just getting our health back, unfortunately. Because, uh, yeah, that's, that's the best way to heal, right? By sleeping. Oh, you've got a concussion? Go take a nap. Oh, you've got lost a leg? Go take a nap. <laughs> the game hasn't quite figured that out yet. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I should really create a whole new chest and just have things to be dumped in them, etc. Oh, that worked. Okay. I mean, almost perfect. Let's just destroy them. Okay, and we can just go back and keep doing that some more. What does Miss Charm need? Uh, fake coins to Snake. Oh, well, we never gave the coins to Snake. My bad. 
that's something I always forget to do is give him these bloody coins which I'm pretty sure I left over here uh, no I must have given him the coins then let's find out let's go to the dead horse oh she's not here yet she'll be here soon hey get out of the way you uh, so I need to give him paper. Oh, well, we, I should have brought that over here. Not to worry. Um, what can I buy from you? Anything that heals health. Uh, beer does, which is crazy, but at the same time I get it. Uh, wine does too. Okay. Alcohol. To make beer better? Question mark. I mean, I've only got seven silver, so I can't really do too much of it. Well, let's take a look in here. So, yeah. At the moment, we'd have made no money. And we're back. Sorry about that. Right, let's see if Miss Charmer's wandered in here now. Um, no, no. Well, Miss Chain. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to buy anything with them yet. Oh, this is the Inquisitor Day. Oh my god, I'm such a fool. Uh, he needs ten flyers, so let's just go back to the house. Oh, where am I going? Right, so let's run away back down to... Let's just go through the dungeon, you know? We'll be dungeon lads. Dungeon lads. Da -da 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 -da. Dungeon lads. Ah, spooky noise. So either at the end of this tunnel, or at the start of the next one, we will find ourselves a uh, bucket of blood. Which we can make if we really, really want to. We don't want to. It's much more simple just to find it. Well, actually, it's a lot more simple just to make it, but, you know. Why would I want an extra bucket of blood? That seems like something I wouldn't want. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my ass kicked by these bugs. Bugs and bats. The cause of all danger. All dangers in life report back to the bats and the bugs. I know every time I do it, you know, I have to check to see to make sure there's nothing in there. I know there's nothing in there, but I still have to check. Gosh, I'm getting absolute. I should have bought some beer or something because I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay, got to play a little safer. These bugs should be quite fun. Bam! Oh my gosh, they nearly killed me. All right. Let him jump first. <laughs> Last thing I want is to die to a bloody slime. You died to a bloody slime. I mean, we're going to die. We are going to lose and life here. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Playing a little scared, as you can see. Oh, silver mine. Lovely. So we can just dig, 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 dig. Bunch of silver nuggets. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is that? Wheat seed. Yeah, we don't need a wheat seed. Or a beet seed. Might as well just destroy this for some more flitch. It's chasing me! Run away from the flitch! It is dangerous and evil. Evil! Oh, oh and look, here is a box with a bucket of blood in it. Lovely stuff. We've got our bucket of blood now. Uh, so it was at the end of this one. Which is nice. Come on. No! <laughs> oh, we should have died. No! <laughs> they got us. Ah, we have died. So we go back to the house. And we're fine. 
It's like nothing happened. We're fine. We're fine. We died, but we got better. We got a heal potion. Why do we have a heal potion? We didn't have that earlier. Oh, we must have picked it up. And I didn't even notice. Well, isn't that something special? Then I have to spoil it all by saying something special and I blew it. Um. Right, cool, 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 cool. Let's just dump all of this down here. That's what we got these extra chests for, right? So we got the bloody nails, we got the bucket of blood. Perfect. I mean, there's no consequence for uh, dying, to be perfectly honest. Not that I found, anyway. Time doesn't progress. Uh, you don't lose anything. Everything stays exactly where it was. The only thing is we got to run back through the dungeon again. Oh no, not back through the dungeon. Definitely haven't done this before. Oh my gosh. It's not too bad, you know. But th yeah, it's kind of strange that there's not really any punishment for death. And um, I think I would prefer it if this was a bit more RNG. Um, so you could just keep replaying through the dungeon and be like, oh, it's different this time. But, uh, you know, I guess that's where Stardew has the advantage in this. <laughs> right, I'm back. You may have bested me before, bugs, but I'm back. But the bugs are not. The bugs have, have learnt that I'm no threat and they've moved on to find something that's worth killing. How unfortunate for me. <laughs> Ooh, the astrologer's out today. We don't have any money, so we can't really take advantage of uh, of him being there. Which is tragic, but what can you do? What's his quest liner anyway? So I think we may have progressed his... Yeah. We may have progressed his storyline a little bit. Um, I can't remember whose storyline we did and didn't progress. Oh, a fire bat. So don't step in the lava. The lava is going to be painful, no doubt. I didn't I didn't want to step in it and test that, but I'm almost positive that lava on the ground is going to be dangerous for us. It leaves a lovely crackly noise as well. Ooh, health potion. Very nice. So we'll have to remember that we actually have healing potions on us now. We have two, right? Two healing potions and a uh, energy potion. Uh, right, we'll just eat that. Nom 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 nom. Two, three, four. Oh no. Okay, we did well to avoid both of those attacks somehow. Ow. Not Firebat though. Firebat is uh, kicking our butt right now. I got cocky, that's what it is. It's like, aha, the fire bat, he does no damage. Yeah, kill all the bugs. We are professional bug swatter. No, we're going up here first. This is probably a terrible idea. Ah, oh, it's a terrible idea. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Rude. So because I walked into his attack after he'd attacked, I was taking damage from that uh, double pointy cleaver man. <laughs> the double pointy cleaver man. That's what I will call him. Double pointy cleaver man. He knows his place. He knows what he's done. Um, yeah, so that's kind of upsetting. It's like, well, you've already finished attacking, but I suppose he's holding his knife there and I walk into it. It's not on him, is it? It's on me. Stop hitting yourself. Stop stabbing yourself. That sort of thing, right? Ooh, look. We're going to get some gold nuggets. Nice. You're never going to catch me. I'm going to keep running until I get away. Oh. I did not get away. Ow. Ow. 
Okay, well, we're going to eat the other heal potion. Eat it? No, we're going to drink the other heal potion. That makes more sense. Nope, okay. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to look in that one, but I still went over to check to make sure. Hello. Ugh, I hate that they just keep attacking once they've hit you. Ow. No. Oh my gosh, we died again. That's fine. That's not a problem. Well, it is. It's annoying because we were so close to finishing that floor. But it's fine. It's fine. We've died. We'll move on with our lives. Everything will be fine. Oh. Alright, let's just collect all of the shite. <laughs> Pop it all into the chest. And you as well. And you as well. <laughs> God's sake. And you as well. Okay, never mind. I guess we'll keep it with us. At least till we get down here. And then we throw it in here. Look at that. Isn't that a beautifully organized chest now? Lovely stuff. So the astrologer we can't really do anything with. Um, unfortunately. Let's just take a little nap again. Have a little nap, because it's time to build something. Um, and hopefully we have resources for it, and I don't need to go farming for resources. So, if we come down... No, okay, I guess we have to do it over here. Should be like a build... A crate factory, there you go. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's different, isn't it? So what's at the crane factory? Let's dig it out and see. So we're going to dig out the crate factory. What an unusual name. Uh -huh. And then we have to do some bashing with the hammer. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And uh, yeah, this is our merchant shop, basically. Ta-da! So what we do is we come over here and it's like, oh, you have all of these things. Well, you could box these up and you could sell all of these. So you need four flitch, two nails, and then anything else you'd like to put in there. I'm almost positive there was one that was supposed to be like simple iron parts. Why are there no simple iron part ones? I mean, there's complex iron parts. That's... That's a bit of a pain. Any event. Maybe I don't have any uh, simple iron parts. Maybe that's what it is. No, I have plenty of simple iron parts. Okay, well, we'll just make a whole bunch of complex ones then. That seems like the only logical thing to do. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Uh, I'll come over here and I'll show you what we do. So we make a box of goods, and then the box of goods goes downstairs. Oh, and it's gone forever. So if we take our little zombie friend here, and we go downstairs, you'll see that the box of goods is now here. If we put our zombie buddy here, he's going to take it to the merchant shop for us. Zombies, they're great. That's, that's pretty much what the zombies do. They make life easier for you. Which is what it's all about. I've just remembered, by the way, that we are going to buy Playwright. To make book writing and whatnot go better. We're also going to learn gardening. Because we want to start learning zombie stuff. Because when the zombies start doing stuff for us, that'll be beautiful. Zombie quarrying? Ooh, I want zombie mining. I don't want the stone quarry. I want the mine. Oh, I've already got the mine. Perfect. Anything else? Anything else? No. Apologies about that. We are back again. Hooray. So, 
what we want is we want to get a whole bunch of faith. And we're on the day for it. So, we want to upgrade our church. We want to upgrade our graveyard and anything else we can in order to get to that point. So let's come over and see if we can actually upgrade anything. Uh, so with some stone, we can do some upgrading. So I can bring some stone over here, and that'll be great. Um, stone and peat, which we've got a lot of peat. Yeah, so let's go and get some stone. We'll go to the quarry for that, because I know I've got a bunch ready to go. Right, so we've got a little bit of stone, not a lot all. So we're going to need some more. So we're going to have a little snooze. Snooze, snooze, snooze. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. We can't sleep for too long, unfortunately. Uh, well, we can. We can sleep full through this day. We just need to make sure that we've got enough time that we use our prayer and get a little bit more faith. Because um, I used up all my faith. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> we're all out of faith. There's no more faith around us. Not enough resources. Perfect. So let's go back to the home. And we're going to take a little wander on down here. We're going to put some uh, some lawns in to improve our graveyard. Which will hopefully give us a little bit more faith. I know there's not much more we can do than that just yet. Uh... We're also going to buy a bunch of candles. We can't be able to put these in everywhere, unfortunately. So we'll have to put them where we can. Hmm. No, so that'll have to be literally all we can do for now. Um, this is closed by the Inquisitor, right? Yes. So we need to make friends with the Inquisitor before we can actually use this area. Uh, which we definitely need to do if we want to get super high quality for our graveyard. But our graveyard's at 55 quality now. That's, that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So we basically just want to get as much faith as we can right now. Ooh, that's perfect. Uh... Oh, a bit of story and a bit of faith. Um, Alright, let's pop this in there. It's not great, but it'll do. Uh, I haven't learned any of this stuff. What the heck have I been doing? So I need to learn that. I need some blue. I need to get me some blue. Okay, well that's all I can really do for now. We can just hope that we get a little bit of faith out of this. I need to get at least two, uh, ten faith. It's not going to happen from this one. I need to break a brand new prayer. Oh, I'm only going to get six faith, seven faith. That's unfortunate. I wish we'd have gotten a bit more faith out of that. Not to worry. Oh, the money's not great either. I mean, it all helps, but it's not great. I mean, we'll take uh, we'll take a few silver. It could be worse. So we now have a total of eight faith, which is it's okay. Um, I think we needed ten faith though, because uh, what we're looking for is to make a whole new book. What does the prayer for excellence do? I don't know, but we can't make it. You can't make that either. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's have a little look. We have a 100% chance of silver and a 23% chance of some gold. Uh, so we're going to make this because we definitely want silver. If we get the gold, fantastic. I knew it was going to be the silver. It's good. It's okay. It's okay, guys. 
It's not bad. So we could do a combo prayer? Oh, we need to get a, a silver book. A silver book? No. Not silver. Uh, we need to get a bronze book. How do we get a book? Okay. That would give us a bronze, which... Is this going to use up an entire inkwell for us? Uh, no. No, it didn't. Oh, I don't have enough. Right, let's go home. And we're just going to take some food out. And we haven't even got any food. Okay. Uh, can't really make much either. We've got no energy. Man's got no energy again. Gosh. I really wish this game you could increase your stamina, increase your energy counter. Because um, it's too much sleeping in this game. I know you can buy food, you can make food, and that solves that. But early game, it's just so much of this. It's just so much sleeping. I don't want to do sleeping. I want to do work. I want to go and have fun in the world. Why won't they let me have fun? Right, so that's 36 and 30. Perfect. So let's go back to sleep again. Because that's all we do in this game. We sleep, 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 sleep. Uh, can we build anything? No, we can't build anything. We haven't learned nothing this game. We're doing awful. <laughs> okay, so we need a whole bunch of flyers. Honestly, we need a we need a printing press. Um, we've got a printing press actually, haven't we? No, no, that was another game I was thinking of. Uh, okay, well let's let's see if making a book. Guaranteed a silver. Uh, industriousness. Where is industriousness? This. I'm gonna guess it's in uh, the red bit. We're looking for industriousnessnessnessnessness. I'm guessing it's in here somewhere. Big guy, engineer. Oh, it's not in there. We could learn steel weapons. That'd be pretty handy. Uh, industriousness, this, 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 this. No, that's a miner. Where the heck's industriousness, this, 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 this? Oh, it's got to be somewhere in here then. We haven't unlocked anything yet. Um, we need more blues. Gish, gish, lord, gish, lord, gish, lord. Words hard. Not even once. Um, so we want... Oh, we'll just bring everything over here. That'll make it easier. Let's just bring everything over here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Look at all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're attracted to me. How lovely. Um, what do we need? Well, let's take some stone. I don't think we need any stone. But we'll take it anyway. We'll take the single now that's in there for whatever reason. Um, we'll take the flitch out just so we can put it elsewhere. Once we're done. We'll take those nails. Take the simple parts. I didn't want a hundred and whatever of them. So, no. No. So we'll put in 53. Perfect. We actually figured that out. I was like, hmm, should never do math on stream. Stream? Whatever. Should never do math in front of other people. Because it always goes badly if you do that. Uh, right, let's take, I think... I think we'll take 12 of them. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why we're not just going to take another eight. Uh, and we need some wooden planks. So let's go make some wooden planks.
because that would be ridiculous to, to get all the way back over there and not actually bring the planks that we originally knew we needed. Okay. Also, we're going to eat nom, 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 a jelly. Always good to eat a jelly. Okay, I've forgotten what I was doing. No, I haven't. We're going to build stuff. Uh, printing press. How lovely. It's like it was made for there. Um, what else was it? Is it an alchemy workbench? No, we've got that. So we need... Uh, we need the assembly joint and we need the steel parts. Okay. We need a lens. Oh, we're also going to pop in a random text generator right here. Hand mixer we've got. Alchemy workbench we've got. Alchemy mill, we just need two polished stone. Chat workbench, well, that's literally where I was putting it. Uh, alchemy rack, yeah. Uh, will that fit over here? I don't think it will. It does. Perfect. We'll pop that there. It's just a little bit more storage down here, which we're going to need at some point, no doubt. Hey, open. How lovely. In fact, I'm just going to pop all of this in here so we don't have to keep bringing it back later when we want to build with it. Um, it's going to save us time. Trust me. Trust me. It will be fine. Okay, we're going to make ourselves 30 of these. We do, however, need to make more ink, if that's the case. Tragic, sad, I know. No. So I want ash and water. Don't I have any water down here? Good lord. Uh, we'll go to the dead horse. Because, oh, I did a boo-boo. Either way, we're going to need a marketing campaign, and a marketing campaign, and a marketing campaign. Yay! And we're going to need these other ten flyers for something else. Right, so, we do need to just go back home. Um, we're going to take this little shortcut, because we've not been this way before, I don't think. Ah, oh, look, we're back home. And you, Mr. Zombie, come with me. Because we're not going to be doing any of that anytime soon. I know we really should do. We are going to go stick him over here. And then we're going to tell him to craft some stuff. So we can even have him make a story of a mystery value. Or we can have him make a book of mystery colours. So we're going to have him make some books. And... We are also going to make some more ink if we can. No, we can't. Um, so we need some more flasks. And we need some more water. And we need some more ink. That's always good to know what we need, though. We are going to make the paper. Or the pigskin paper here. So we can turn it into some clean paper. Uh, because we are going to need a heck of a lot more paper in the future. So, Mr. Zombie that's on there, working away, making us uh, some coloured stories, he'll hopefully produce us with a, a blue or a green or a red book. Hopefully a blue book. Um, so we can get an extra, just some stuff. So he just works away, he writes stories for us, because he's, he's very nice like that. Uh, and Oh yeah, we could have done this, couldn't we? I was looking for industriousness. That's right. Because we would have a higher chance of getting a thing. That's fine. Um, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. So we want to hit that 10% chance. We got a 10% chance of getting a gold. Give me the 10%. You look in the bottom right. Let's see what we got. We got the silver. Okay. I mean, it was a long shot. It was absolutely a long shot. I, I didn't think we'd make it, so we've done well. 
Okay, we're guaranteed to get the stories of whatever ones we have if we bring uh, the right things here. Just checking to see if we had anyone sitting in the conference room. We do not. But we now have this. So we need 20 prayer for a successful uh, ceremony, whereas before we only needed 10. So you can see that it's actually going to be worthwhile doing this. And we are going to go back to the dead horse. Nope, wrong one. So we can talk to this guy and be like, hello, here's some paper. <laughs> and uh, now he's just going to be like, ah, I'm so happy. And he's out of inspiration. He's like, bring me some wine and I'll give you some stories. Uh, I think we only have enough to buy basically one story at the moment. Let's find out. Yeah, we're so close to having two, but we don't. So, we're just going to give give him this wine. Like, here, give me a story. And you can do that a few more times. Oh, let's talk to you very quickly. So, we did give Snake the coins. And she's like, ah, oh, I've got a message for Snake. Basically, give me my money and my necklace. Yada, yada, yada. I need my necklace. That's it. So, that's always nice. Yeah, she wants her necklace, and Snake's done something with it, but nobody knows what. Uh, we know what's done with it. Well, I say we, I know what's done with it. Uh, you don't. You will, one day. Today is not that day. So let's collect some water. 